The LG Optimus G Pro just arrived. I'm Taylor Martin. This is Pocket Now, and let's get this thing unboxed. The LG Optimus G Pro, LG's third entry in the phablet sector. First was the Optimus View, second was the Optimus View 2, and now we have the Optimus G Pro. This is essentially a direct competitor to the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, and it soft launched just before Mobile World Congress, and it's expected to release in other markets around the world, including the US market, sometime in quarter two, but the exact date is not known. So let's get inside the box and see what this thing is all about. Take the lid off and you have the device itself. We'll push this to the side for the time being. We'll come back to that. If I can get this box open. Inside you have your reading materials, which we can't read because they're in Korean, so not very helpful. Um, here is it's an included set of headphones or a headset with an inline mic and looks like volume control, maybe. Um, your standard micro USB cable, a power adapter, of course, can't get very far without that, and a battery. And in the very bottom of this is a dock for the phone. It'll sit in either landscape or portrait, and yeah, that's good. It also has a slot for charging batteries. Um, so that's nice. You can get a spare battery and, and charge it in this little charger here. Let's get this stuff back in the box and take a look at the hardware. Because that's what we really care about, right? So let's take a look around the hardware of this device. On the front we have a 5.5 inch 1080p True HD IPS Plus display. Now that differs from the Galaxy Note 2 because this one is 1080p. The Note 2 was 720p, so it's much higher resolution much higher density, it's around 400 pixels per inch, I think 401. It has a 2.1 megapixel front facing camera here, standard speaker grill, a physical home button, and that strip around the home button is not just chrome, it is uh, LEDs. So that is your LED notification, is the actual home button, and back in menu buttons to the left and right. Um, you'll also notice that the bezel here is very, very thin. Um, I don't know the exact measurements, but it is very close to edge to edge. It's very minimal bezel, which is really nice, especially on a device this big. It makes it feel a lot smaller. Here's your volume rocker on the left side, and this is actually not the power button. The power button is on the right side. On the left side, this is actually a Q button, I think it's called, and that's a shortcut button. You can set that to pretty much anything you want. On the bottom is a micro USB port. Top is an IR blaster and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. In the back we have the 13.1 meg or 13 megapixel camera, LED flash, and a loudspeaker, and your typical branding 4G LTE, LG, and you get this nice pattern on the back. This one isn't glass like the Optimus G, but it is plastic, and it shares a similar pattern, like a speckled tile-like pattern that, that you see on the Nexus 4 and the Optimus G. <clears throat> but this battery door is removable, and inside actually, so it comes with. A spare battery, which is nice. I guess that's to show off the dock. But we have a 3140 milliamp hour battery inside. This is micro SIM slot, micro SD card slot. And that is about it. On the inside, it has a 1.7 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 600, it's not Snapdragon, quad, Qualcomm 600 processor. Um, and two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage. And I think that's everything. So let's just quickly boot this thing up and look at this notification light because that's what's really cool about this thing. I guess it's not the only cool thing, but it's it's one of the really cool things about it. And if you saw that really quickly, yeah, it'll light up and make a nice little visualization there. And while we wait on it to boot up, let's uh, wait for this noise to go away. See if we can get noise. The past few devices that I've unboxed, they didn't make any noise when I pulled the plastic off, so... Yeah, I think I think they're they're done with that noise. They don't like us to get happy over that. Mm, let's see if we can get this one off. There's just, just not a lot of noise. That's that's upsetting. One thing I almost forgot is this right here. Now it may look like a stylus uh, because it's usually hidden in the bezel somewhere, but no, this is not. This is obviously the Korean model, so it comes with this nice long antenna, and that is not for cell reception. That's not going to make you pick up signal um, better. 
This is for television. If you're in Korea, you could watch television just as you could from your TV over the air from your phone anywhere. So that's a really cool feature, but it's not helpful to us. So um, the other models that are coming out, the international model, the global model, and uh, maybe the U.S. model, are said to have a stylus in place of this thing. So hopefully, um, because a stylus on a device this big is nice to have, and if it's a direct competitor to the Galaxy Note 2, it needs a stylus. So there you have it. This has been a quick look and an unboxing of the Optimus G Pro. Stay tuned for more coverage. There should be a full review and many comparisons over the next week and into next week. So stay tuned for more. That's all we've got for now. So if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more LG Optimus G Pro coverage. I'm Taylor Martin and I will see you next time.